say, whatever happened to that Joker 2 movie, huh? Could there even be one, considering how it ended and everything? Well, turns out there has been some amount of discussion of this. Uh, there was even a story at some point that, uh, and considering the stupidity lately of Warner Brothers, and I mean, they're not alone, all the studios are pretty stupid these days, um, of somehow wanting to connect a Joker to the Matt Reeves, uh, Robert Pattinson uh, version of Batman. And uh, <laughs> just, I don't see it, and especially considering uh, w the time uh, line or what have you that uh, Pattinson's Batman appears to be. I'm not, I don't know how... <sighs> Would that even work? I mean, it, 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 the Joker movie depicts Robin. I mean, Robin. <laughs> See, I'm already messing up. Uh, Bruce Wayne uh, as the young boy. This is right before his parents die, and of course, spoiler: they do die at the end of the at the movie. And so it's the idea that this is the Joker, and he'd be this old man going up against uh, Batman when this kid grows up to be an adult. Um, yeah, I, I, it just sounds like a dumb idea all around. Oh, well, he inspires the the Joker that comes after him. Yeah, that's... Then he wasn't the Joker, was he? <laughs> so anyway, a lot of this just sort of got forgot, you know, because, well, we had a really strange year. Uh, anyway, so uh, there's this recent story from The Hollywood Reporter that was talking about all the... DC Universe plans that they have and uh, of course Black Superman was came out of this uh, uh, apparently uh, Henry Cavill has unfollowed <laughs> Warner Brothers on Twitter so yeah I think they just oh, gee man they could still have the multiverse and he can have his own film and he could be a part of Shazam and I before all of this there was a rumor that uh, Warner Brothers slapped down Dwayne Johnson saying don't ever talk about DCEU anymore <laughs> So, yeah, there's no friends in that business, you know. So anyway, so the article went on about all the uh, different uh, uh, ideas they have for the future. And, of course, uh, they've got the Flash movie, which uh, is going to open up the multiverse, which is why you, you, perhaps there was one idea that Pattinson's Batman could replace Ben Affleck's Batman in the DCEU. Or not, and he just remains in his own world. It might be some sort of acknowledgement in the Flash movie of this, and that would just all that would require is you know some amount of footage, and that's about it. Wouldn't even have to actually star in it, uh, and all that type of stuff. And and that's where they'll go forward uh, to give some sort of structure to what they're trying to do with their superhero properties. Um, so, uh, and they're going to spin off TV shows similar to what Marvel did. And, of course, already we knew that there was going to be a Gotham uh, PD type story, which, uh, one, would hopefully be more in tune of what the original Gotham show started out as, you know. And, actually, it was pretty good at first. I know there was fans of it and they, who embraced the, the nuttiness of it all. But, I, uh, and I you got it, you know, I'm sick of Batman projects with no Batman. However, a, a, a crime series set in Gotham, uh, centered around Gotham PD, uh, could work, but you gotta have the elements of actual Batman in it. And I, I don't know if they can get Pattinson to do that, or it's just his stunt double will be in the suit. <laughs> or something along those lines. Uh, but you know, obviously it wouldn't be his show still, so... Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. But anyway, that was one of the projects they talked about. That that's And that, that they've already announced. That that's a done deal. They're going to do that. Um, well, uh, the other two they talked about was The Joker and its planned sequel. <laughs> so, it's just like, oh, this is still a thing. I mean, there was a discussion of it. There was actual interviews with Todd Phillips and Joaquin Phoenix. And Todd fell and said, yeah, it was, it, 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 the movie is set up to be a one and done deal. Uh, but there's certain intriguing possibilities, maybe for a sequel. Joaquin Phoenix said, yeah, uh, because he liked playing the character. 
But the problem is, is what's the idea? What's the next story to tell uh, for this version of Joker? At the end, he's locked up in the asylum there. He apparently has murdered <laughs> his counselor in there because, well, his feet sure were bloody in the little uh, Scooby-Doo chase scene at the end. <laughs> Uh, and all that and uh, but y how do you how do you follow something like that which is very much just a one and done film uh used to do those all the time you don't always have to have a sequel you know and um that's the hard thing for them to return to it uh and but to, to, if they're still thinking of connecting this to, <laughs> I, I hope that's not the case i don't think that's a good idea I don't know that they would want to introduce their own Batman into this uh, version of events. I, 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 I just don't know. I suppose it's possible that they could set it, come up with a story that fits to where it mostly takes place in the asylum, that it's Arkham Asylum, and the Joker's in there, and then you could have these other alternate versions of the other villains <laughs> that are there. And, uh, you know, the, the the joke about Joker, which isn't much of a joke, it's pretty much what it is, where it was, you know, a ripoff of Martin Scorsese movies of the King of Comedy and Taxi Driver. Well, uh, uh, you could look to uh, One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest. <laughs> <laughs> uh, only, uh, you know, a Nurse Ratchet isn't necessarily the villain <laughs> in this version <laughs> And I guess at the end, the Joker breaks out. I don't know. If, you know, he doesn't get lobotomized. <laughs> and uh, but uh, so, yeah, I guess there's something there. But you got to have something solid and something for someone who wants to sit and watch just a bunch of weird guys in an asylum, you know. And I don't know if they would have you. I mean, some wouldn't appear. Obviously, I don't think Killer Croc would unless it's just some weird tattooed guy thinks he's a crocodile <laughs> uh, but some of the others could be in there yeah I imagine Riddler could be in there you, you know and how do, you, how do you make that fit in with just this sort of drama that's mostly kind of sad about people trapped in an asylum you know and you don't really I mean now yeah, there's elements of Joker where you become somewhat sympathetic t towards him but he's still wrong you know in the end but um, so I so I, you know, because it, oh, it, it stunned them how popular it was. And this time, uh, Warner Brothers would fully fund it. They did not fully fund the previous one. I don't care what anyone says. <laughs> so I, maybe, I, I, I think they should probably just leave it alone. But if they were going to do something like that, it would be better for that type of thing where it's just, it, it is just a sequel to that movie and not connected to any other uh, uh, Batman uh, stories. And I, even though, yes, Bruce Wayne's in the story, uh, he exists in there, I, I really don't see how that uh, turns into uh, superhero uh, movies, unless they want to push it more into the early 80s days and uh, little Bruce Wayne grows up to be like uh, Charles Bronson's character in Death Wish. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, I don't know. But something like, yeah, uh, coming up with a story that can exist within an asylum. And boy, you could do that pretty cheap too. Um, maybe. But it's got to be a good idea. And you, know, you can't just do uh, just an obvious ripoff of, of other movies uh, to a certain extent. I mean, obviously you can make the case that Joker did do that. But uh, they came up with their own story within that uh, environment, if you will. So, uh, apparently it's still on the table. <laughs> and uh, the, the even more stupid thing, beyond trying to connect it to some, you know, whether it's Robert Pattinson's Batman or another one. Um, and the idea of a sequel anyway is a bit of a stretch here. But that they might even just, uh, well, let's move with another director and actor. <laughs> Yeah, I don't think that'll go over well. So, I, I, you know, I, I think I think it's best for Joker to just be the one and done thing it is. They could try to do similar things with other characters that are, you know, off the beaten path of comic book movies. But beyond that, uh, I think leave Joker alone. 
Thanks for watching and listening. Say, while you're still here, why not like and subscribe and share with your many friends? Yes. Also, check out my many stores <laughs> in the link description below. Yes, where you can get t-shirts, hats, mugs, all those goodies with my artwork on them. Oh, yeah. And head over to IndiePlanet.com and pick up a copy of my comic book, Night Night. <laughs> oh, yeah. You can also catch me at my podcast, Mr. Nelson Show, on RadioMisfits.com. And you can also watch my videos on BitChute.com and now on Rumble.com. Oh, my goodness. So many places to watch me and my stuff. Oh, yeah. And if that's not enough for you, well, you can follow me on many social media platforms and say hi to your old pal, Mr. Nelson.